brother na wan de woke governor genti ha ga ri oro chukwa ro noro ni ho mo chukwa gwa chukwa he ga meria o ku tendi bo oh yeah it means you don't want to do anything for god he have a wrong kete father for the very good straight to as a nigga we are going project ka una na bo ka di project Okay, come to Lord Jokweta. Money we have a political statement. What about a matter of political statement? I have not seen ever an unbrace my PTOB. I've never promised anything that failed. I'm a fundamental Catholic. Even when I'm good, no can me. What am I got? You can help me say, Mary and Anambra. Praise the Lord. In your capacity and what God has done for you, Governor. Get money, okay, get money, get into what's in here. Now, here. God hates stinginess. I am the one I'm a quick or talk or talk. I'm a quick here, guys, again, though. Otherwise, again, I think we fail. You can save your political destiny. On 2019, Una Madin Bemer, Mamma election. Una Praise the living God. In your game, one day work and then you work at Bazaar. Oh, man, one more. Get on, tell me, I'm not going. Chere, Biko. Get on, get on. Reverend Father E.G.K. Umbaka has once again, as always, made a controversial statement about Peter Obi the presidential aspirant saying that peter will be is very stingy and as long as god remains peter will be is not going to be the next nigerian president and since then a lot of nigerians have come out to condemn this act and they as well brought out that video you just finished watching saying that it was because Peter will be refused to donate money to his church. That was why he made that statement. And reasonably enough, he himself made mention that Peter will be has a gum hand that is very stingy. He did not he did not put down money to in the church of God, which means he is against he is against Christ. I would want to say this before we continue that it is unbecoming of this man how can you as a man of god always involve yourself in politics if you want to join politics just please go ahead and join politics full time leave your ministry leave the ministry that you are in let everyone know that you are now a politician and how, how can he be soliciting for funds publicly from a politician in front of everyone and i also liked that um, peter will be stood made, made that stand and told him that if you want me to drop money for your church show me the project show me any project that this church is involved in presently that this church is building maybe where they are building projects or anything and i'm going to contribute my quota to it but this father refused to even made mention of any of such projects going on at least if if the money was supposed to be meant for the church like he said he should have just pinpointed one or two of the projects ongoing in the church that he could contribute to and above all i don't think it's by force it's not by force if he doesn't want to contribute fine he doesn't want to contribute and i also feel like uh in our present society you know they see politicians as having a lot of money and when they now see a politician 
that has refused to spend um, lavishly like other politicians usually would spend, you know, after stealing government funds, they will begin to criticize and say all sorts. You know, normally people expect the politicians to get to a beer palo and clear all the bills, you know, of those people. And these are the same people that will come out and complain tomorrow that, oh, these politicians embezzled money. But where did you where did you expect them to get the money that they were spending lavishly in the first place? Uh, where do you expect them to get the money from? So I just think this is this this is just one of one of one of those things. And as um, pastors and men of God, they should know where to draw the line. All those pastors that will come out and say, "Oh, I see vision." It's the so 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 person that would become the president. All those people that saw vision that Trump would 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 come back for second time. Where are they now? Where are they? They should close their eyes, cover their face in shame, because I don't they, like. It, I am one of those that always advocates that, you know, we should have more of Christians and more of men of God dabbling into politics, of course, because if Christians leave politics to other people, like, we are not going to get far because we're always preaching we don't want corruption, we don't want all this, but we also want to see Christians and men of God, you know, living exemplary life, joining politics and telling or showing showing to other people that you can still do politics without 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 we are without going dirty and without being corrupt you get what i say let let us read see some of the reactions from people online afam deluxe says on the 7th 9 2021 his excellency peter will be donated 100 million to bishop Shanaham Hospital of Nursing and Midwife Fee in Suka, Enugu State. Yet, Father Mbaka has their country to tag Peter Obi Stingen simply because Peter Obi refused to be emotionally blackmailed in 2018 and 2019 in his church. I commend him if it were to be other politicians saying that Father Obi has started, you know, to say that, oh, if you don't put down money, you are not tickle. You are not going to. You are not going to get, become president. You are not going to get the ambition. They will be tempted to do whatever he's saying, but I commend Peter Obi for not bowing to pressure. For not bowing to pressure from, from this man that was trying to harass him in public, all because he wants him to drop money. And I suspect that Peter Obi must have known that this man is not honest. That was why he insisted that show me a project that this church is involved in and i'll be very willing to drop money but i can't just drop money without you telling me that these and these are the projects that this that this church have ongoing for me to put my money to i can't just give you money without knowing the cost that the money is going to another person reacts by saying umbaka was not given money by peter obi some years ago Show me a project where I will put money into and see the results. That's all Peter will be asked for. Till today, Umbaka has refused to rest. You can imagine. Show me a project. This man refused to mention any project. And he was trying to blackmail him publicly, saying all sorts, insisting. After the man went on, show me a project. Let me, let me donate money so I can't just give you money, which is of course right. But, you know, people expect politicians to always throw away money, you know, spend money anyhow, just drop money and go and not look back and see what, you know, they're actually dropping the money for. Anyway, this is where I'm going to draw, stop for now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Drop your comments. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.